There we go. Hey guys, what's up? This is Justin, aka Diego, and I promised I was going to tell you the story about how I got my scar. What scar, you might ask? Oh, you can't see it. Anyway, you'll have to, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I got hit in the shovel, it hit in the face with a shovel. And, uh, excuse me, if I lean over to spit, I'm chewing tobacco right now. Nasty habit, don't do it. So, the story goes as is. My mom's boyfriend and I hate each other. Uh, and we both know it. So, uh, one day he was over my place getting some stuff that he had stored here or something like that. Anyway, I was... Uh, getting some breakfast, and we crossed paths. And before this point, we weren't on speaking terms, so we didn't. When we saw each other, we didn't talk to each other, whatever. So we didn't talk to each other for like three months, and just out of nowhere, he just starts starts up a conversation, and he starts it kind of like uh, he he basically just asked me a question, like if I needed help with something, or if I wanted to do something. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I basically just shut him down with something like, if it has to do anything with you, I don't want anything to do with it. And he got all defensive and stuff and um, started, like, getting real mad and stuff. And I'm sitting here, imagine this, I'm sitting here with a bowl of cereal, just listening to him vent, just eating a bowl of cereal, kind of just, like, nonchalant, like, not even listening to him. And uh, he goes on for about, like, one or two minutes. And uh, he said something that really got under my skin. And uh, I basically just, like, throw, throw, like, through the bowl. Just like, Ugh! Just like, you know what? I've had enough of your shit, and uh, basically told him that he, he threatened to kill my mom not too long ago, in like a heat of emotion or whatever, I, I don't know why he did it, but he did it, and I told him if he ever did it again, I'd kick his ass, he's like, oh yeah, prove it, I'm like, really? I was like, you're giving me the, the opportunity to beat the shit out of a 65 year old man? He's like, yeah, let's go fucking do it, and I was like, alright, let's go fucking do it. So we go outside, and I literally just woke up. I'm in shorts, no shirt, no shoes, nothing. We go outside onto like our patio, my patio area, and uh, it's like it's treated, it's like plastic treated wood. So it's not wood, but it's not plastic. But it's a surface that you shouldn't be wrestling around on, basically. And uh, that's important. Remember that that uh, little piece of information because that's gonna play a role in the story later. So we're, we're out there, and uh, I'm pulling up my shorts because, like, for some reason they're real baggy, and I was, I, I was tying them. And he swings at me and hits me in the back of the head without me even looking, like, just tying my shorts. And I was like, oh, okay, so we're really, I really didn't think it was going to happen until that happened. So he hit me, and I was like, okay. So I turn around, and uh, let me try to remember exactly what happened. I turn around and pushed him, and he kicks me in the leg. Just, like, not hard, like, just, like, standing, just kind of, like, Bah! Like that. That's it. Just cut! <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's funny to me because he's just, he was old, he's old and decrepit. And I was just like, this is, this is stupid. So, um, I put my hands up and I like, kind of like, just like fake with like my left hand and just like hit him really hard with my right and straight up just knock him to his ass. So, uh, I kind of start like walking back inside because I was like, it, that's going to be the whole story if you want to keep fighting. I'm just going to hit you once and you're going to keep falling down. So he like is stumbling because he's kind of dazed. And uh, he comes to his knees and then he just like fucking rushes me like a bull. Like just like head down, just like coming at me like, ah! goes for like my legs, tries to take me down or like that. And uh, I lower my hips and I, and I put my feet real far back just to kind of stop his momentum. He's a, he's a fat dude. Um, he's like, He's like 5'9", like almost 350 pounds. Like he's fat. And uh, so where was I? Anyway, so I, I put my feet out and I kind of slide on the surface, like barefoot. I slide on the surface and it just like de-skins like the bottom of my feet. Just all like every layer of skin just gone I'm from my uh, the palms of my or the balls of my feet and then like my two big toes just gone. And uh I didn't know it at the time, but after, afterwards it was it was I couldn't walk for like a week or something like that because it was just it would, it wouldn't heal. Anyway, so back to the story. So I slide and uh, stop stop his momentum. So his like 
shoulders kind of in my hip area and he's getting up and as he's as he's I kind of like I'm forcing him as he's kind of I'm forcing him up I just fucking just right to his fucking cheek just smash him with my elbow and uh that fucked him up pretty bad he gets to his feet and I just fucking knock him again with the right hand knocks him out again so he's on his back this time he's in like the gravel and this is when like the bright idea crosses his mind to grab the shovel so he grabs the shovel because it was close to him and I whatever he was in drunken stupor he grabs it and he just was like let's fucking do this and I was like really you're gonna bring in a fucking weapon I really didn't think he was gonna cause shovels I mean it's 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 a it's a weapon it it could hurt and trust me it could hurt so I really didn't think he was gonna go like that serious and uh once he picked it up I was a little worried so we have this table out in the patio and I kind of am keeping him and myself you know with the table between him and myself so I'm kind of running around it we're doing this little cat and mouse thing for not long like three four seconds and uh uh, and I kind of just like dropped my guard for half a second. I was like, come on, put down the shovel. And like before I could finish saying the word shovel, like I see him just come back and he starts to swing. And I know I'm in hitting distance. And I was like, oh, this is really going to hurt. And he fucking smokes me with it. Just wham. And uh, it dazed the shit out of me. It didn't knock me out or anything. But it like as soon as he hit me with it, the first thing that popped through my head after I got hit was I really thought that would hurt a lot more. But my adrenaline was going, and I was pumped up, and it just, you know, I, it didn't really hurt that bad. That was, that, I was surprised at how bad it didn't hurt. I really thought it was going to fucking KO me. But, uh, so he hits me with it, and I was like, okay, that, that hurt, but I thought I was going to be dead. But uh, let's not get hit again. So he comes back and swings again. I duck this time, and it just goes right over my head. And, this, and uh, I end up getting my hands on it, so we're like, we both got our hands on it like this, like, uh, you can't really see, but anyway, so we both got our hands on it, and we're kind of just, I'm trying to wrestle him away from him, and he's like, not doesn't want to let it go, obviously, so um, I realized while I was trying to struggle and get away with it, like, I'm a lot stronger than the guy, because he's fat and old and whatever, and so I realized that while I'm trying to pull him away, he's moving around a lot, and I was like, well, I'm not going to let go of this thing, because I don't want to get hit again, and I have no other way to inflict any damage. And then an idea popped in my head. For some reason, I remembered that like one of the hardest parts of your body is like the top part of your forehead, like right, right there, that little domer. So I was like, well, let's test that theory out. So I pull him into me, right? I, I full extend my arms and I pull him into me. So while he's his momentum is coming towards me, I just wham, just fucking headbutt him right in the nose. And as soon as I connected, I looked at him in a gauge of reaction, and like his eyes did like one of those like, like roll in the back of the head thing. Was like, oh, uh. I was like, oh, that's, I was like, that's the money, that's the money shot right there. So I just started throwing these fucking headbutts. I was like, three, four, six, twenty headbutts. No, I hit him like four or five headbutts. And uh, after like the fifth or sixth, he just drops down, puts the shovel, like, let's go with the shovel, and was like, it was like, no more. No more of those. So the grand total was uh, 18 stitches, lost the skin, all layers of skin on the bottom of my feet. I actually, the elbow, when I elbowed him, I got a small cut. This is the funny part. I got a small incision, like a small cut that got infected because I just didn't pay any attention to it because I was worried about this and this and the feet. Excuse me. But so this little guy ended up getting infected, getting something called cellulitis. If you're familiar with that, good for you. But for 99% of us that aren't familiar with it, it's an infection on the cellular, cellular level and basically infects the tendons and, and it just inflames the whole area. So it looked like I had like a giant softball in my elbow for a while. And uh, that actually was really, I thought I broke it. That's how bad it hurt. Like I couldn't, I literally had no mobility in it. It was pretty bad. But, uh, and then my mom's boyfriend uh, had to go into the emergency room because apparently I broke one of his ribs, which punctured some organ of his, and he had some sort of bleeding internally, which never is a good thing. And uh, I shattered his orbital socket. I don't remember which one. Probably the one from the headbutt. Probably the right one. Anyway, so yeah, they had to uh, repair the broken orbital and uh, his internal bleeding, and I think he 
dislocated about every goddamn fucking joint in his body. But yeah, he had a laundry list of stuff. So, uh, if you guys, moral of the story, don't get hit in the face with a shovel. Uh, it does hurt, um, unless you got a surplus of adrenaline going at the time. But yeah, it could have been a lot worse if it was. It would have been literally. It hit me right here. If it would have been, what is this? Half an inch higher, I could have lost an eye. So, uh, or if you just swung it sideways, yeah, it could, that could have been a lot worse. Instead of hit me with like the the meat of it, the back back side of it. So, yeah, could definitely uh, got lot got lucky, uh, if that makes any sense. In in the case of being hit in the face with a shovel, I th don't think I could have gotten luckier. But anyway, uh, that's it, and that's the story. It's a good story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had a drink or two. Catch you guys next time. Later.